hey everybody welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you my 5 a.m morning routine at this point you hear my alarm going off and i'm trying to get myself out of bed pro tip set the sleep timer on your phone if you have an iphone the alarm is ptsd vibes that's not it so as you can see i already snoozed my alarm once but now i'm getting ready to get up and go in the bathroom and brush my teeth go to the bathroom wash my face put on a robe and then make my way back to my room to make my bed. Honestly, making my bed as soon as I get out of the bed has been one of the biggest game changers for me in terms of productivity and just how my day flows. I definitely used to be one of those people that used to be just chilling in my bed. Like if I felt tired, I would be kind of tempted to lay back down in my bed. But honestly, since I've started making my bed, the minute that I get out of it, I don't even go near my bedroom until it's time for me to go back to sleep. And now you see I'm just putting on some fuzzy socks because I'll be cold in the morning and I like to have on socks when I'm walking around. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my rising ritual. I'm just going to open up my windows a little bit to let some fresh air in and just kind of roll my neck, stretch a little bit. I'm still halfway trying to wake up. And here, as you can see, I'm just lighting my sage. Like I said, I'm getting ready to do my rising ritual. So I'm just really preparing to set the intention for my space before I start to read and journal. So the book that I'm reading this morning is Sacred Woman by Queen Afua. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about this book a lot here on my channel. Sacred Woman is one of my favorite books and it just is a really great tool to have as you are on your journey of being the best version of yourself, the best woman, and just really ascending. So as you can see, I'm still trying to wake up a little bit. I'm still yawning, but I'm just flipping through the book and just reading different passages that are standing out to me and highlighting anything that really speaks to me. In The Rising, we are most susceptible to consuming information um, and just receiving those downloads. So I really like to be intentional with what I'm reading and especially as I'm on my journey back to natural living natural eating and just getting my life right in general and being able to achieve my goals at a higher capacity so that's what I'm doing here now I am just going to go ahead and practice some gratitude in my journal in the rising I always 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 start my day with gratitude whether I'm writing it down on my notebook on my phone or just saying it out loud I always start my day with gratitude and giving thanks and it truly has made such a difference and such an impact in the quality of my days and the quality of my life now I'm about to get in my meditation bag y'all already know the vibes Today's theme is sparking your own sensuality through the divine feminine. Meditation is something that honestly has really helped me to become grounded and really just helped me to get my mind right. I think it really helps me to eliminate a lot of the chaos and just really, again, set my intention for the day. As I'm working to achieve my goals and setting bigger goals for myself and just really pushing myself to be the best version of myself and show up for myself and for my visions, meditation is where I get some of my beautiful visualizations. It also just helps me to remind me who I am and just give me a sense of just heavy grounding vibes there's really no other way for me to describe it it's like heavy root chakra activation by this point as you can see the sun is starting to come up it's light outside you see i'm looking around realizing that it's light outside wiggling my toes a little bit i recorded a little time lapse of the sun rising and how the sky is just turning orange and yellow and it's so beautiful so once I finish doing my rising ritual, I'm gonna head to the gym. As you can see, I'm currently listening to an audible book, which is More Myself by Alicia Keys. At this point, it's around 6.30 in the morning or so. I have really been divinely guided to implement listening to motivational audio or audio books and just brain food, so to speak, and really switch that out for a lot of the music I was listening to in the gym. Also, going to the gym in the rising and going to the gym on a consistent basis has been huge for me and my productivity. I've really been pushing myself with the goals that I have and showing up for myself and working out in the gym, although it is amazing to see the physical results, it really is just about the way it conditions your mind and 
really working on mental toughness and pushing yourself past your physical limitations and just really pushing your mind to um, its full capacity. I think working out in the morning is so amazing because it really does help set up my day. It gives me energy and it just makes me excited for my day. I work at a startup, a beauty tech startup, so my days are super high demand. There's always something new and really pushing myself to show up for myself in the morning allows me to show up for my job better and show up in life in general more effectively and that's just amazing so once i get back into my apartment i am going to make myself something to eat as you can see here i'm making green juice y'all already know the vibes if you want to see a full breakdown of all the nutritional benefits of green juice and the different ingredients i like to include i will link the video above because i do have a video talking about this already on my channel this week I already did my four intense workouts. So this morning when I went to the gym, I just did some light cardio and a little ab workout. So that's why I'm gonna have a green juice and some fruit for breakfast. I have found that drinking green juice also energizes me in a way that most people get energy from coffee and it helps me to not feel the crash. I know typically when I would drink coffee, I would feel a crash sometimes or I would get like real anxiety ridden and just have the jitters and it made me feel very just unsettled and uneasy. But you know, getting the nutrient boost from these natural foods really just helps my body perform better. I think it helps my skin to glow. It helps me to be more sound in the mind, more productive, just more alert. And I've definitely seen a huge difference in my lifestyle. I can feel the difference in my body and in my mental when I'm not drinking my green juice every day. So this is a staple for me, as y'all know. Now I'm just gonna juice some lime so that I can add that to my green juice. I always like to have a citrus boost in my green juice. Again, if you guys wanna hear more information about that, I'm not gonna bore you with this right now. You can definitely go check out my green juice recipe video which I will link down in the description box for you. I recommend that everybody get a citrus juicer, whether you like to juice limes, lemons, oranges, grapefruits, whatever the case may be, this is definitely a staple to have on hand. This is a KitchenAid citrus juicer that I got from Target. I've actually been thinking a lot about, rather than juicing the limes one by one or as needed when I'm making the juice, I've been thinking about juicing all of the limes out of the bag at one time so that way I can have fresh lime juice squeeze and just put it in a mason jar whether I want to add it to my water or whether I want to add it to my green juice or different meals that I may be eating that's like my next step of level up of just trying to get my life right I think one of the biggest things with my morning routine and getting up at five o'clock for me has really been just pushing myself to show up for myself and really do it to the fullest extent. I believe that by showing up for ourselves and by setting goals for yourself and working actively to achieve them and holding yourself accountable for them, we're able to just serve and be better people, better co-workers, better children, family, friends, all those things. And so I recognize that by the time eight o'clock in the morning rolls around, we're being pulled at for work. We have responsibilities, whether you have kids or whatever you maybe have going on in your life. And so waking up at five and really pushing myself to show up for myself and do intentional things in the morning really helps me to have a more productive day. And in turn, I'm able to just reach my goals and accomplish everything. Um, and it's really been a beautiful experience. So now I'm just gonna go have my breakfast on the balcony and chill. Again, since I didn't do any heavy working out today, I'm just gonna be eating some fruit. I'm gonna have some watermelon and drink my green juice. At this point, I'm still listening to my Audible book because the chapter was real good and I wasn't done. So I'm just chilling and listening to my Audible book. I'm starting to look at emails. I'm not really responding, but I'm starting to become aware of the emails that are coming through and checking my calendar to see what meetings I have for the day, what stuff I need to be aware of. I 
can't stress this enough how important it has been for me to push myself to prioritize that time for myself in the morning. I noticed that when I wake up in the morning and don't give myself enough time to get prepared and do the things I need to do before having to go into work, my workday can feel a lot more chaotic and I can tend to feel more spread thin. So I think implementing different practices, whether that be waking up early in the morning or just different practices throughout the day to help yourself stay grounded are super, super important. By this point, I'm heading back into the house because I got to get dressed for work. I have some meetings coming up. So now my morning routine is officially basically wrapped. <laughs> All right. So now it is officially 7.55. Um, I have five minutes until my first meeting for the day, so I'm getting ready to run downstairs and go get ready. This pretty much sums up my 5 a.m. morning routine for productivity. I've really been in a space of just pushing myself to be the best version of myself, and I think a lot of that starts with my rising ritual, my morning routine, all the things. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button if you're still here. Um, and yeah, I gotta go. It's time to work, time to get to the bag, so I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.